Hello, RPG Don here. This is the start of our new series, where we look at each plugin made by HemaWorks and discuss all the features of each plugin. Today's plugin is the Large Choices plugin. Normally, when you click an event, Black Diamond, Tab 1, Show Choices, you're allowed up to six choices. With this plugin, you can make additional choices show on the same screen. First, we will go to their website, MV Plugins. The last page, Large Choices MV, where it says Downloads, right-click Download here and Save Link As. You will save the plugin to your computer. Then go to your RPG Maker software, Game, Open Folder, JS, Plugins, and move your new plugin here. So then go to your Plugin Manager, double-click a row, add your new plugin, and click OK. Once this is done, apply and OK. We can move on to our eventing now. We double-click an event square, black diamond, give some text, and do our show choices. We will use up each box. Then on the last black diamond under N, insert another show choices box. We'll click OK when that's done. Set our priority the same as characters, give it an image, and once all this is done, apply and OK. We can now test our game. Always remember to save your changes before testing. Upon talking, we can see all of our choices. We can go deeper into this plugin by clicking back our event square and right-clicking and editing our first set of choices. The default choice is the choice that will be highlighted when your player activates this event. The cancel is which choice will be activated when you click the back or the cancel key. You must choose which group you want the cancel in and which group you want your default in. The one you're not using, say we're not using the second, we will right-click and edit under default, none, and under cancel, disallow, and click OK. Then on the group we will use, we'll right click and edit, then set our default option, choice one, and our cancel option, choice two. When we test our game, our first choice should be automatically highlighted, and if we cancel, we should see number two on the screen. Since our number two key is to cancel, I will give it some text, so we know that number two has been set to cancel. We can now apply and OK. Now we can test our game. Talking to the event, we can see our number one highlighted, and when we click the back or the cancel key, our number two choice is being chosen and our cancel message is being shown. We can do the same for any of these numbers and either group. However, you must set the default and the cancel to none or disallow for the group that you are not using. For instance, if we want to use the second group, we will go to our first group, edit, None for default and disallow or cancel. I will be setting 10 to our cancel, so I will put cancel 10 for text. I will right click and edit this group. Set our default to choice 1 and our cancel to choice 4. Choice 1 will highlight our number 7 and choice 4 cancel will give us the 10 option, which will give us a cancel 10 text. Choice 1 won't give us number 1 because the choices here only work for the choices within the box you're in, so it will automatically know that this is the second group, and that the number one choice is our number seven. Click OK when you're ready, apply OK. We can test our game, and talking to our event, our highlighted choice is seven, and our cancel is cancel 10. That's it for this plugin. Please like and subscribe to show your support. Gain access to our private Facebook page by supporting us on Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video.